The song Faithful God by I Am They from their album of the same name, Faithful God, not I Am They, uh, is, a, is a really cool like testimonial song. Um, it's not super congregational, but I think it would fit in a, in a church setting. And it, sometimes we just need these songs to listen to. They kind of lift our spirits. And um, as far as the guitar goes, we're in the key of... Uh, what key are we in? We're in C. <laughs> uh, we're in the key of C. And uh, so we don't have to capo or anything like that. The acoustic guitar has a bunch of uh, like kind of different picking patterns. The electric guitar really plays a very complementary role. You kind of have individual parts for each one. However, you might be in a situation where you just need to hit some big chords because those are in there too. So kind of feel it out. You might just need to emphasize the choruses on those rather than doing some of the higher parts. So kind of judge your band, band situation. I think the high stuff will work well no matter what, but it definitely, there's something real satisfying about hitting those big open chords. Like I said, the song's not capoed or anything, so go ahead and tune up, watch the music video, and let's get started. Quite a number of things happening here on our rhythm, actually. We've got um, our basic strum pattern, which is a 16th note pattern that's just straight up and down the whole way, but we're emphasizing. So it's gonna sound like this. One and two and three, four. One, two and three, four. So you don't have to do that, but it just kind of really helps you lock in one and two and three and four and just kind of working that. I did give you a loop down below so you can just kind of practice emphasizing those sections. Um, but the real star of this is the, is the picking. Now, we're using the same ideas throughout. However, we're changing up our rhythm and we're just kind of following the chord shapes. We're starting out uh, with our with just basic eighth notes on that first um, on that first verse, which actually starts on the second line. We don't actually start on the first; we just wait. So it's going to sound like this. It's the main idea. And all it is is just an eighth note pattern. We're starting with an F chord. So we're playing the root of the F, that first fret of the E, and our ring finger is gonna be on the second of the G. And we're just, ideally, you're kind of muting these other two in here so that you don't really hear those. Just to kind of like protect us there. Um, but you can be, this is slow enough that you can be pretty precise as well, but it's helpful if you use your ring finger to mute that D and your pointer finger to mute the A. And you just, one and two and three and four and and then you're going to make your slide up to your ring fingers on the ninth your pointer on the eighth two and three and four and then down to your fourth fret with your ring pointer on your third and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. then once we hit the kind of the end it's a kind of a little bit like a pre-chorus instead we go we still do the f Instead of the C, we're going to slide our ring finger to the fifth of the G using our middle finger on the fifth of the E. And then we're going to drop back to our G chord again. Four and one, two, three, four. And then you come in strumming on that chorus. So one more time, that first verse is going to sound like this. Remember, you're picking up the second line. Now, that's the easy one. When we come out of the chorus, there's that little chorus tag and we put a push on it. And so the timing is kind of funky. It goes. Still kind of following the same chord shapes. I've got tabs of that down below as well. You see, you're working, it's weird because you're working with an eighth note and then a sixteenth note and then right back to an eighth. So you're not really getting a dotted eighth feel. It's just this like pushed kind of a thing. And so rather than counting it, it's much easier to just listen to it. So I'm just going to do one chord here so you can kind of...
right? Like it's, it's kind of funky, right? And if you try and start counting in between it, it gets super weird. So gave your tab down below. I also gave you the uh, a loop, couple loops so you can really practice along with that. Really trust your ear on this one, kind of get that feel, lock it in, and you'll kind of feel it within the rhythm. It's kind of hard, like I said, it's kind of hard to play it on by itself. And it's also, if you try and start counting, it's gonna get super wonky. So uh, just avoid that and use your ears. So that's it for the rhythm on this song. Like I said, I have loops of all of that down below. Go ahead and give that a shot, and then let's look at the walkthrough. 